Hallelujah, Jesus.
get his hands on him. The Lord is good all the time. He the one made me what I am. He don't make no junk. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Children day. Children day. Thank God for these little children. Yes. Yes. Our Father and our God is calm as humble as like we know how. Yes. Realizing that Jesus. evil thoughts had run through our minds. All right, all right. Things oh, no. that we should not have hey. done, we have done. Jesus. Blood up the hand and writing that is against the master. Cast them in your under sea, unforgetfulness. Oh, yes. They'll rise to trouble your children right. in this world, not to condemn them before the judgment bar. Jesus. Realizing that we all got to appear before the judgment oh, bar. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for the invitation. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for these little children. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for the signs, Father. Thank you. 
study the vaccine, the vaccination act for little children. Little children cry, I cannot breathe. Oh, God have mercy. Have mercy, have mercy. Keep them under the blood of Jesus. 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 Knowing that Jesus is a doctor, never go up again. Tell it, tell it. Conquer all manner of disease that ever come before him. Yes. We say thank you for being our doctor. Yes. Lawyer in a courtroom. Yes, yes. Daniel cried out, he huge like a mountain cut out of stone. Yes, yes. Rock in a weary land. Yes. Thank you, Master. Thank you, All power is in your hands. Keep our little children now. Don't let them get discouraged. The blood of Jesus, please keep them there, Master. Pop them up on every leading corner. Oh, God, please, no let these parents give up on them. For these are your little children, our Father. Oh, God, please, our Father, you promise never to leave them nor forsake them. Please make way out of nowhere. Parents, our Father, trying to keep roof over their head and clothes on their back. Oh, God, please, our Father. Bless they coming in and they're going out. Oh, God, have mercy. All right, all right. My children and great-grandchildren, hold them, hold them. Oh, God, please don't let them go. Yes. But we need you in a time. Jesus, 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 Jesus. Virus in the schoolroom. Virus in the community. Oh, God, please, our Father. Keep the money you win right. under your wing. Oh God, have mercy. Say protection under your wing. Have mercy upon our little children. Sick and afflicted everywhere, oh God. All oh, cried out for him. Oh God, I cannot bear these burdens alone. Oh God, please. Pains are unbearable. Please try to listen to there and I see that. Oh God, we need you in a time like this. Right. Have mercy, have mercy. Mercy, soon our kids. Mercy, wake us up this morning. Mercy, break now our day. Thank you for the rest in your mercy. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Master. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. To Marisa, I think. Oh, yes. Move that doctor. Lord, have mercy. Good, have Mercy, we tell with your loving kindness. Bind up their broken heart. Oh, God, please, our Father. Take them out, Father. Let them know that you don't make no mistake. Oh, God, please, our Father. Strike them down with the weak. Build them up with a tone down. This day and this day, we need you. Have mercy, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Have mercy this morning. Thank you, Lord. Have mercy for our Father. Thank you, Jesus. Have him up on every day in corner. Coming in and going out. Stretching him where he's weak. Who yes, oh God please our Father. Time like this. Time like this, Master. Trouble is on every corner. Time like this. Need you to lead us from these obstacles. Need you to hold us in these troubled times. Time like this. Time like this. Oh God, please our heart. Please now. Please turn on this in there. See and I share the cry of your children this morning. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Name that above every name. Every knee gonna go. Every tongue go to God. Thank you for Jesus. Look beyond our fault. Sorry, me. Thank you for Jesus. Thank you for the invitation. I'm ready to meet all oh, that heaven. I'm heaven led this morning. I need your help. I need your help. Stand there in the valley. Oh, God, please. Don't leave me in the valley. Lead me through the valley. Stand there in the valley. In the valley. Trouble is on the valley. Oh, God, please. Lead me around the trouble. Not denying me because I missed the mark. I beg you in the name of Jesus. Please come.
come to my rescue. Please, Master, come to my rescue. I need you to chime in. Come to our rescue, our rescue. Oh, God, have mercy. Have mercy, Lord. Have mercy, Lord. Have mercy, Lord. Have mercy, Lord. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. We pray and we ask it all. Amen. Because yes. we must worship the Lord in spirit and in truth. For yes. God is a spirit. And they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. For this is what the Father, who the Father seeks, that they may worship him yes. in spirit and in truth. So if we come with an open heart, sincere heart, in a ready mind to worship him. The Lord said, there are two or three are gathered right. in my name. That's right. There I am in the midst. Yes, yes, sir. I said, the Lord is here already. Yes. Yes. Walking among the candlesticks. Yes. In the name of Jesus Christ. Yes. I can feel the presence of the Lord. Yes. 
free as you belong. You're going to ask the congregation for a selection. And after that selection, I bet the Lord help you stand before you would thus says the Lord. And it's all done in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Didn't it rain, children? Rain, oh my Lord. Didn't it? Didn't it? Didn't it rain? Oh, yes, my Lord. Didn't it rain, children? Rain, oh my Lord. Didn't it? Didn't it rain? Didn't it rain? Lord, didn't it rain? Well, it rained for the day, for the night to stop. It rained and kept on dropping. Drop that wind, not come on. Yeah! 
give honor to God our Father when it gives our daily bread and to Jesus Christ our Lord our Savior and our Redeemer to the Holy Spirit our teacher praise him our God our counselor our comfort, our keeper, and empowerment for the church. All right, all right. Should we thank the Lord for these ministers that are here? Oh, yes. Reverend Snake, Reverend Austin, Reverend Gathers. Thank God for all that are here. Thank you, God. All our officers. All right. Yes, Lord. And to everyone in the Lord house. Praise the Lord for you and for your presence here this morning in the midst of a dark time. My God, grace and by his mercy, he allows to come and we give him all the glory, all the honor and praise. There's nothing of ourselves, it's by God, grace and his mercy he allows to come. And we place ourselves on the Psalm 91, the protection of Psalm and the blood of Jesus Christ. We thank God for what he has given man in the vaccination and everything. We place our authority and trust on the almighty God. Praise you the Lord. We thank God for the spirit. The Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost, 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 Give me a 
read together verse 33 and verse 34 together. I'm trying to settle down. I'm trying to settle down. I'm trying to settle down. Hey. Ah, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Do you all have it? Let us begin reading in Mark, the ninth chapter, 33rd through the 34th verse. Let us begin. And he came to Capernaum, and in the house he asked them, what was it that Jesus murdered among yourselves by the way? But they held their peace, for by the way that they distributed among themselves, who should be the greatest? Who is the greatest? Jesus. Who is the greatest? Who is the greatest? Jesus. That's our subject thought. Who is the greatest? Let us pray, God, eternal Father. Lord, it is again that we have come by your grace and by your mercy, because we acknowledge that it is you that woke us up this morning. Yes. Laid us down on our bed chambers. Yes, yes. Allow us to wake up in our right mind. Yes. For there are so many, Lord. Jesus. If the name were called oh, this morning, yes, yes. they could not answer. Oh, the alarm clock went off, Lord. Yes. And they could not shut the alarm clock off. Oh, but you have mercy upon us and allow yes. us to come. Thank you. And we thank you, Lord, that we have a mind to come to thank praise you. We yes. thank you for everything that has been done, Lord. From the teaching of your word through Sunday school. Yes, yes. From the songs that have been sung, Lord. And the prayer that already been up glorifying your name. And ask it for your help, Lord. And Lord, I come now needing your help there, Lord, to proclaim your word. We come now asking that the Holy Ghost come be our teacher and our preacher, God, is to all truth, Lord. We thank you. We bless your name, Lord. Oh, let the anointing flow, Lord. Let it rain, let it rain. Among us, Lord, among those that are here, Lord, touch every heart that are here, those that are listening and watching, Lord, let the anointing flow like a river, Lord. We thank you. We kind of dumb. And there, God has always surrendered. We surrender this worship service unto the power of the Holy Ghost, uh, under the authority of the Holy Ghost. We place everything under the authority of the Holy Ghost. It's in Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. Amen. Just kept coming up. 
Even when John and James mother asked Jesus that her son one sit on the right hand and the other on the left hand of him. When he come into his kingdom, Matthew the 20th chapter, 20 through the 20th verse reveals that they were considering themselves, they were considering themselves to be greater than the other disciples. Mm -hmm. The desire to be the greatest kept reoccurring right up to the last supper. Yes, sir. In Luke the 22nd chapter, 24 through the 26th verse, and even to this day, many churches suffer because someone or some families oh, want to be the greatest. Oh, yeah. Want to dominate in the church. Right, Run things in the Lord house. Right, in the body of Christ. The church, yeah. the body of believers belongs to Jesus Christ. Yeah. Jesus said in Matthew the 16th chapter and the 18th verse, he says, upon this rock I build my church. And the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. Ephesians, the fifth chapter, in the 23rd verse, says, Jesus, the head of the church and the savior of his body. Pastor is not the head. Bishop is not the head. They're under shelf, but Jesus is the head of the church. And he's the savior of the body. In fact, Jesus is the head of everything. But in Romans, the 14th chapter and the 11th verse, also Philippians, the 2nd chapter, 5th through the 11th verse, and we just got through singing, every knee shall bow. All right, all right. Things in heaven, things in earth, and things under the earth shall confess that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of the living God. All the day coming, yes. and everybody can bow down yes. and declare Jesus yes. as the Christ. Yes. Listen, a child of God is one that serves, Jesus. one that is faithful and obedient. Yes. We must be careful today to yes. Yes. keep this prideful spirit right. out of the body of Christ. Yes. Yes. Why? Yes, sir. Why? Because this is not the spirit of the Lord. All right. Thank you. Listen, this type of spirit got Lucifer, yes. the high of angel, yes. who became Satan, yes. thrown out of heaven. All right. All right. Isaiah 14, chapter 12 through the 15 verse tells us that. Yes. Jesus teaches us, Jesus teaches us on how one should serve in our message for the day. Yes. Matthew the 20th chapter and the 28th verse says, even the Son of Man. Amen. Even Jesus came not to be ministered unto. He came not to be served unto, but to minister. All right. And then after he done ministered and served to give his life Amen. a ransom for many. Yes. Who is the greatest? The gospel according to Mark is believed to be the first gospel written. Mark was not one of the 12 disciples but he was a close companion to the apostle Peter. In 1 Peter, the fifth chapter, the 13th verse, Peter calls him Marcus, my son. Mark also accompanied Paul and Barnabas on their first missionary journey. Acts, the 13th chapter, and the 13th verse tells us that, except that in, except that, in that passage of scripture, he's called by his First name, John. Oh, yeah. Acts the 15th chapter and the 37th verse tells us his, his surname, which is his last name, is Mark. Amen. It is also believed in Mark, the 14th chapter, 51st through the 52nd verse, at the arrest of Jesus, that Mark was that young man that followed behind as the following behind as they arrested Jesus. But then when the mob turned and tried to grab yeah, hold of him, they tore off his clothes. All right, all right. But he escaped and ran away naked. Yes, sir. They believe Mark is to be that young man. Yes, sir. Three gospel writers recall this event. Who would be the greatest? 
Matthew the 18th chapter, first through the 16th verse. Luke the 9th chapter, 46 through the 48th verse. And this 9th chapter of Mark, verses 33 through 37. Yeah. Listen, listen. Great or greatest in the eyes of the man and society today means power. Yes. That's right. High places and position of power. Yeah. Great influence, mm -hmm. military might, yes. superpower nation, yes. nuclear bomb and nuclear weapon, yes. strong mind. I have many guns and I don't know who ain't carrying a gun today. All right. And they All carry right. that gun because they think themselves great and strong. Yes. Yes. Money and lots yes. of it. I'm rich, fame, fortune, well-known Great success in education, sports, business, government, politics, and even in churches. Yes, yes. Look up to me for I'm the man. I'm the woman that called the shot around here. I'm the only one with enough educational sense and talent to run things around here. I am the great. Not, 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 not so with Jesus. For the word of God says in Mark the ninth chapter and the 35th verse, if you desire to be first, the same shall be last of all and servant of all. all, right, yeah. all right. And the word of God says in Mark the 8th chapter 36 through the 37th verse, what shall it profit a man to gain the whole world all right. and die and lose his only soul? Yeah. What can a man give in exchange for his soul? Listen, listen, whatever you have here on earth, whatever the Lord has blessed you with, whatever you have accumulated, yeah, it could be a hard work by the sweat of your brow, whatever you have accumulated here on this earth, let us remember it's only temporary. All right. It's only temporary. Yeah. If you want to be great in God's kingdom, you must be willing to help one another. Yeah. Love one another. A servant to all, and a servant is one that serves. Yes. In John, the 13th chapter, 4 through the 20th verse, Jesus Christ, God himself, washed his disciples' feet. Yeah. Even the feet of his betrayer, Judas. Now that's something to think about. Yeah. Knowing that you have somebody that's going to betray you. All right. Yet All right. you bowed down. God now bowed down. Yeah. Took a towel from wrong his waist. Yeah. And in spite of him knowing that Judas was going to betray him, he washed yeah. his betrayer feet. Tell it. Tell it. Ah, and those feet of those men were dirty. Yeah. For the rose were Dusty yes, yes. and traveling was many by walking, but Jesus, yeah, washed the disciples' feet. Yes, yes, Jesus yes. Christ, the great master teacher, yes, demonstrated the true meaning of greatness and humility by washing the disciples' feet. Oh, Who is the greatest? All right. That question or dispute is in the mind of men, women, boys. And girls today. And being Super Bowl Sunday, the greatest team for this year, where you have thousands will be at the stadium. Thousands will be around the TV. Million dollars have already been spent. Being Super Bowl Sunday, yeah, the greatest team for this year is in the mind. Tell of many women, boys, Tell and girls between the Los Angeles Rams and the Cincinnati Bengals. Wondering who is the greatest team for this year. Yes, that question or dispute of the greatest is still in the mind of men, women, boys, and girls today. And in this ninth chapter of Mark, it is in the mind of the disciples. Come, my brothers and sisters, 
Let us take this journey in Mark, the ninth chapter, together. For God's word is here to help teach all of us the way of the cross in righteousness. Yes. What Jesus said in Matthew, the 16th chapter and the 24th verse, he said, if any man will come after me, let him deny himself. Let him deny his selfish ambition. Let him deny his way and take up God's way. Right. Let him deny himself and take up the cross and follow me. Mark opens this nice chapter with the transfiguration of Jesus up on a mountain. Yeah, when all of a sudden there was up on the mountain and Jesus uh, took off the earthly and put on his heavenly garment uh, right before their eyes. Yeah, and uh, Elijah and Moses appeared uh, up on the, the mountain. Uh, one representing the prophet uh, and the other representing the law. Yeah, and Peter, not knowing what to say, said, Master, uh, let us build three tabernacles. All right, yeah, all right. One for you and yeah. one for Elijah and Moses. Uh, yeah, but uh, a voice uh, yeah. came from heaven, uh, identifying on, who man. Jesus is, yeah. was, and shall ever be. Yeah. Hey. This is my beloved son, uh, whom I'm well pleased. Uh, yeah. I need you uh, to listen to him. Yeah. yeah, and soon as uh, Jesus arrived at the foot uh, of the mountain, he was faced uh, with a boy possessed by an evil spirit. Right. Uh, yeah, the disciples that were left there down at the mountain uh, were trying uh, to cast out the spirit. Yeah. Uh, they were trying uh, to set uh, the young man free, yeah. uh, uh, but they couldn't do it. Uh, but Jesus uh, cast out yeah. the devil. Yeah. Uh, well, uh, yeah, of the young man, uh, he asked him, uh, where's your faith? Uh, that question come back, uh, who is the greatest? Uh, we should know by now who the greatest is, uh, but in the mind of uh, the disciples, uh, it is uh, an unanswered question. Uh, well, uh, after Jesus uh, cast out the evil spirit, uh, they left that region uh, and travel through Galilee. All right. Jesus uh, yeah. then began to speak of his death on the cross. Yeah. He was trying uh, to prepare his disciples. Uh, yeah. yeah, he began by telling them uh, the Son of Man. Uh, and this is the second time uh, that Jesus uh, told his disciples. Uh, yeah. yeah, the Son of Man uh, yeah, is going to be arrested. Yes. Uh, crucified yeah. and treated cruelly by the chief priests, uh, yeah, the Pharisees uh, and the Sadducees. Uh, but don't you worry, uh, on the third uh, day morning, uh, he's going to rise again. Uh, but they did not understand uh, what Jesus was saying uh, and was afraid uh, to ask him. All right, all right. And there was something else uh, going on among them as they traveled, uh, yeah, to Galilee. Yeah, yeah let us uh, examine uh, what else uh, was going on. Right. Uh, the 33rd verse says, uh, and he came to Capernaum. Yeah. And being in the house, uh, he asked him, uh, what is it uh, yeah. that ye disputed among yourselves? Uh, yeah. By the way, uh, they were arguing uh, yeah. about who was going uh, to be the greatest. Uh, right. The right. 31st verse says, uh, but they held uh, their peace uh, yeah. uh, because they knew the Lord knows uh, yeah. everything. For yeah. uh, by the way, they had disputed uh, argued uh, among themselves uh, who should be the greatest. Uh, notice now, uh, no one told Jesus uh, about their dispute, uh, uh, about their argument, uh, but being God uh, himself, uh, yeah, who knows all our thoughts. Uh, right now, uh, as we sit in the sitting area, I want you to know God knows uh, what's going on in your mind. The Lord knows uh, what's going on in your heart. Yeah, a thousand millions uh, and billions of people living right now, uh, but the Lord knows their heart. The Lord knows their name uh, 
And the Lord knew the address. And the Lord knew the appointed time here on earth. I want you to know nothing is hidden from the Lord. You might as well come clean from clean with God, but you can't hide nothing from the Lord. Oh, praise the Lord. And Jesus sat down. And then he called the twelve. This is teaching out. Called the twelve and said unto them, Listen, my disciples. If any man desire to be first, the same shall be last of all and servant of all. And he took a child and set him in the midst of them. And when he had taken him in his arms, he took the child up in his arms. He cradled the young child in his arms and said to them, Whosoever shall receive one such children in my name, yet receiveth me, and whosoever shall receive me, receiveth not me, but receive him that sent me. That would be the Father. What Jesus was teaching his disciples and any of his followers to do is that we must humble ourselves. Yeah, with a childlike attitude, with a childlike spirit. Yeah, we must become teachable. Too many of us ain't teachable. They know everything. Trying to tell them something. Yeah, but they know everything. We got some young people. This, as the young people say, y'all forgive me. This come here. Yeah, yeah come here. But they, they know everything. Yeah. But you got to become teachable. Your parents been around here for a little while. Yeah. And what you trying to learn, they already yeah. learned by experience and through Sunday school. You got to listen to somebody. We must be teachable. Listen to be true believers. We must surrender ourselves to his will. Mark 5 and 3 says, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for there is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Well, uh, yeah, uh, over the years, God uh, has allowed men in the past uh, and in the present uh, to accomplish uh, great things. Yeah, uh, Benjamin Franklin uh, discovered uh, electricity. Uh, and electricity uh, is a very useful source of energy uh, all uh, over the world. But I was the call of old Ben name this morning. Ben could not answer me. But if I was a call on the name of Jesus, oh praise the Lord. Mm, Muhammad Ali, yeah, called himself the greatest boxer. Three time boxing world heavyweight champion. And he was mighty good. Yeah, but time uh, caught up with him. And Michael Jordan uh, is considered to be uh, one of the greatest uh, basketball players of all time. Uh, but time uh, caught up uh, with Michael Jordan. Uh, and they are now calling uh, Tom Brady uh, the greatest quarterback uh, of all time. Uh, but in his mind, uh, at the age of uh, of 44, he knew that time is drawing near. So he decides to retire because he wants to leave at the top of his game. And yeah, the Titanic, the Titanic was a ship the designers boasted. Yeah, they brag about the Titanic. They say even God can't even sink the Titanic. They brag and they boast about the Titanic. And in April, in 1912, they left Liverpool, England, traveling to New York City. They praise the Lord. The rich and the 
that leaf was in there, they were whining, they were dying, and they were having a good time. They were all in luxury. They believed God could not even sing the Titanic, but young in the pool of ice pools, there was an iceberg that detached themselves and began to drift slowly into the Atlantic lanes of the shipping lane and after a while yeah the Titanic got a hole ripping it aside by the iceberg and the Titanic in 1500 people went down in the bottom of the sea they were bragging even God can't sink the Titanic the question is who is the greatest We got to humble ourselves before the mighty hand of God, and He will exalt us in due time. Well, the disciples did not fully understand Jesus' purposes for coming into the world at this time in the Scripture. It was not until the disciples were empowered by the Holy Ghost that brought true understanding of Jesus' plan of salvation. I believe the disciples in their dispute of the greatest were thinking of an earthly king. Yeah, that would be, yeah, free from Roman rule and oppression. You see, at that time, the nation of Israel and all other nations were under Roman rule. Yeah, they wanted Jesus to establish Israel as a great nation, as it was in the days of Moses when God delivered them from Pharaoh, from the hands of Pharaoh in Egyptians, out from under the bondage of slavery. And it was that faithful servant called Joshua that led them into the promised land. It was Samuel, King David, and Solomon who God used as leaders to establish the Israelites as a great nation. So with this in mind, the disciples were hoping Jesus was the one to establish and earth the kingdom to war through the Roman government. Yeah, but that day would come and they would have a, a high seat yeah, in the earthly kingdom. That could have been the reason that they argued and disputed who is the greatest. But the main reason, I believe, is old-fashioned selfishness. They was thinking only of themselves. They wanted to be glorified yeah, in God's kingdom like so many of us today. Thinking only of ourselves. Oh, but I'm so glad. Praise the Lord that God is not selfish. I'm so glad that God is not like man. He is not selfish. It's not the spirit of God to be selfish. Nor is the nature or character to be selfish. No, no. For John 3, 16 says, For God so loved the world that he gave his own begotten son that whosoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. You ought to be glad that the Lord is not a selfish God. You ought to be glad that God has and shows no partiality. Well, who is the greatest? I'll tell you who the greatest is. The book of Genesis in the first chapter yeah, says in the beginning, before there was a who, when, where, or how, God created the heaven and the earth. When the earth was without void and form, yeah, and darkness was upon the face of the deep, and the spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters, yeah, and the word God spoke and said, let there be, and 
and there was light. God separated the light from the darkness. Yeah, he set the firmament in the air and divided the waters from the waters and placed the waters in the designated place. God called the land out from the midst of the waters, filled the air with fowls, placed the sun and the moon and all the stars in the sky by his spoken word. Oh, praise the Lord. I tell you, God is the greatest. Roll up some dust and form man from the dust of the ground and breathe the breath of life in the man nostril. And the man became a living soul, took a rib from the man, made he a woman, and brought the woman into the man. Oh, praise the Lord. Who is the greatest? In the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God, and the word became flesh and dwelt among us, and we beheld his glory out of the Holy Ghost of the Father, full of grace and truth. Who is the greatest? Jesus stepped down, being the word out of heaven, down into the womb of a virgin woman called Mary. Oh, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. God stepped down into the womb of his mother, all in his mother, all in time. He's the beginning of time, yet he clothed himself in human flesh and was born in the Raphaelina Solomon Cross. Yeah, they lied him in a manger. He was baptized by John the Baptist. Oh, praise the Lord. He read about doing good, healing all those, casting out devils. He walked on water, opened eyes of the blind, calm the raging sea. Oh, praise the Lord. Who is the greatest? Who is the greatest? Suffered under the hand of Potomac Potomac, crucified, died. But early on the third day morning, he rose with all power in his hand. Death couldn't tame him. The grave couldn't hold him. Who is the greatest? Jesus. 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 Woke us up this morning. Started us on our way. He got all power. He is a doctor in the sick room. He is the greatest. He is the greatest. He's the Alpha. He's the Omega. He's the beginning. He's the good shepherd. He is Jehovah's Lord. He can cry to a storm. Call on him. Call on him. Call on him. Who is the greatest? Jesus the Christ, the Son of the living God.
uh, for bringing us through and keeping us. Our children need you, Lord, uh, in the schoolhouse. Lord. This is a difficult time for learning and education right now. We ask that you would give them and quicken their minds to learn. Lord. We cry out for the teachers and the staff, Lord, who's under difficult circumstances trying to teach, Lord. We need you, Jesus, like never before. And we say, Lord, have mercy upon us, Lord. Knowing that you're able to move this virus. Uh, oh, God, if we would only behave ourselves. Uh, if we would only uh, acknowledge you as Lord and Savior. Uh, if we would humble ourselves and pray. And seek thy face, Lord, and turn uh, from our wicked ways. You promised to help in heaven uh, to forgive our sins and heal our land. We cry out uh, against their father this uh, rumor of war that might be upon you praying, Lord. We ask in the name of Jesus, uh, oh God, that you move within the land. Uh, and Lord, cease the fire and let it not take place, Lord. Thousands uh, are on the battlefield. Families will be affected, Lord. Uh, lives will be affected, Lord. All over the world, Lord. Have mercy, Jesus. Uh, oh God, only you, dear God, can move uh, upon your hearts, Lord, of those leaders. Uh, move Jesus uh, in a miraculous way, Lord. Uh, we declare that you be done uh, in the name of Jesus Christ, Lord. Uh, move upon our leaders within America, Lord. Uh, move Jesus. We got so much violence and so much shooting and killing, Lord. Sisters killing, Lord, we need you, Lord. We call upon you, Lord. In this dark time to keep us covered under your blood and sealed with the Holy Spirit of promise. Yeah, we need a revival in the land. Sin a revival, Lord. Sin a revival. Sin a revival, Lord, by the power of the Holy Ghost. Sin a revival, Lord. Sin a revival. Shake the church, Lord, and bring us their father. To the truth of thy word. Thank you, thank you, we thank you for all things. Yes. And we bless your name. Yes. And we thank you for this service yes. that has been out this day. Yes. Oh, may it meet the need yes. in every heart and ears that hear, Lord. Yes. And we ask it all in Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen, amen. Thank you.
Let us lift the Lord to be dismissed. The Lord bless thee, keep thee. Lord, make his face shine upon thee and be gracious unto thee. Lord, lift his countenance upon thee. And may the Lord mount us upon eagle wings and allow us to return home safely. And may we find peace in our dwelling place. We ask all these blessings in the mighty victorious name of Jesus. Let the church of the living God let us all now sing together. Amen. 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 May the Lord bless your heart.